222 day, we will be talking more about SHX and Uphold and how the Uphold connection is also tying into XRP and even XLM as well. So if we go back to this, um, we have a post by Green Knuckles who uh, puts out a lot of good content uh, on SHX in particular, but it is interesting because I don't think I caught this in the past that uh, because we have Uphold as a member of the NACHA affiliate program, which is the association payments. And we know that uh, Stronghold is the only one on here that I have found at this point that is a c c company that actually has their own crypto product and platform. So that is an interesting uh, connection that I wasn't aware of in the past, but uh, it just connects things more and more. Um, and in particular with Ripple and XRP, which I will explain here in a bit. But um, we have from Anders X, it is an interesting partnership when it comes to Uphold and Ripple because Uphold was named the fastest growing private company in the San Francisco Bay Area in 2022. And the Uphold platform is linked to 26 underlying exchanges. And that is important for liquidity. Okay, so here is a recap on why uh, Stronghold and SHX and its connections into their USD token that runs on IBM Worldwire, which then runs on... XLM, uh, why that is actually so important. Well, uh, the ACH system is over five times the size of the Visa payment network and uh, NACHA governs the ACH network. And uh, I believe it was uh, for 2022, uh, the ACH payment uh, volume in one year was 76.7 trillion, almost 77 trillion. And again, we have uh, Stronghold being uh, uniquely p p p positioned in the, that program. So here's where uh, this conversation got a little bit more interesting and a couple of the people that I f follow uh, to help me with putting out uh, good information on on SHX, um, he uh, was asking uh, about the uphold information on their site and how they talk about uh, having ACH tr tr transfers and. Um, it is a very good point by Zilla that all banks in the USA can use ACH uh, and Uphold just uses it to interact with your bank. Well, that is a good point and that is how that actually works. But we can't overlook the fact that Uphold is in uh, or is a member of the same organization uh, as Stronghold is and how uh, deeply c connected each of those entities are into XRP. So we had Kay Thingol uh, begin to expand upon this a bit more and he found some uh, really interesting things. So in 2013, Ripple uh, joined Notch's payments Innovation Alliance, and in about uh, 2020, they uh, were not taking part in th 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 that th that anymore. But in 2020, 
Ripple uh, decided to invest in Stronghold. Uh, and in 2021, they joined uh, the Payments Innovation Alliance. And uh, now we have uh, Stronghold, and uh, in particular, um, SHX, uh, being interoperable on the XRPL and on the XLM network as well, which is hard to see here, but it is called out there along with the ACH network. Okay, so this all goes back to how XLM and XRP and even SHX are so inter twined and uh, I have not gone into this map in d d depth because it has a lot of information on here but the important parts for this uh, t t topic are that uh, Sean who is now the uh, s chief technical officer and co-founder co of Stronghold um, worked on XRP and uh, and XLM as well. And then you, of course, have uh, IBM Worldwire, which runs on a a XLM, uh, being uh, involved with a lot of other crypto projects as well. But the other important thing is that XRP and XLM both go back to uh, essentially the same people which, if you follow this whole thing around, uh, ends up with uh, the PayPal mafia and people like Elon Musk. So to show um, a little bit of the amount of history that uh, Ripple and Uphold have, uh, he, 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 here's an article from uh, January 25th, 2018. So that's about six years ago now. And uh, a formal Ripple executive invests $57.5 million in, uh, in Uphold. And I thought that I had a post on it saved that uh, explained uh, this long partnership but I still cannot find that and I thought it went back to about 2013 but I just can't find that so for right now we can show that uh, Ripple and Uphold go back to at least 2018 and here is uh, the most re recent news and between those from uh, October of 2023 um, Ripple teams up with Uphold to improve cross-border payments infrastructure. And uh, a lot of that <clears throat> is uh, revolving around um, Ripple working with Uphold's uh, very large amount of liquidity and uh, being able to uh, use that for uh, their XRP cross-border pay, pay, uh, payment applications. So uh, here is a uh, article that is concentrating on Uphold and Stronghold uh, because they are also um, obviously concentrating on c c uh, compliance in a lot of ways. They probably could have uh, rolled out a lot more uh, products and t tokens a lot earlier, but they're not really interested in that because of the value of the uh, connections that they actually have now. So here is this article. This is from March of 2021, and it is talking about Uphold acquiring U.S. Broker de dealer J and K Securities after regulatory approval. So, uh, if you go on the J and K Security site here, there is now a uh, logo up top that is Uphold, and it is uh, Uphold Securities Inc. There is not a lot of information on here, but one of the few things on this site uh, 
it, 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 it is a page that uh, concentrates on c c compliance. And if you continue to read down in here, uh, there are a couple of other uh, points in here as well. The acquisition will also provide Uphold with an effective vehicle to market its successful crypto investment fund, digital, al alf ugh, digital asset alpha, to hedge funds, JNK Securities traditional clients. D D digital asset alpha takes non-directional bets on cryptos, capturing arbitrage and yield opportunities in derivatives and D D D D DeFi. So I looked up uh, D digital asset alpha as well. And uh, again, there's not a lot of information on this site. Um, in fact, that's about it. But I was able to find a uh, SEC form D, 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 D which is a uh, exemption notice for offering of securities. And I tried to find out um, a little bit more on what exactly that means because I'm not exactly a f f finance guy, but it looks like um, a form that an entity has to file uh, when they begin offering s s securities or um, if they have done something in the past I'm still not a whole uh, like I'm not sure there but it does call out uphold as a related person on this form which is very interesting now this is not saying that crypto is securities right this goes back to this article here, which um, hi, 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 highlights that Uphold uh, is offering um, uh, uh, fractional access into uh, more tr uh, traditional assets uh, in the, well, I can't say that word, but it is right there.